Hello everyone, welcome back to Miss Ming's channel. This is Miss Ming and my channel. I do vlog videos, makeup videos, fitness videos, study videos, lifestyle videos, and everything I'm passionate about to create a happy, healthy, beautiful lifestyle. If this content interests you, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also ring the bell so that you don't miss out any future content. Our goal is to get 1,000 subscribers in the thing. Alright, so in today's video, we're gonna get ready together to create this look using everything I got from Foxy Charm in the past three months. Yes, 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 yes. So I got one Foxy Charm, one Foxy Charm, and one Foxy Lux. Ta-da! So I'll be using everything I got from my Foxy Charm to create this look and get ready together. To we will be starting from skincare to makeup and to do the final reveal. So I've been subscribing to the Boxy Charm for the past three months from um, I think July, October, July, August, and September. And I got so many skincare and makeup products to the point that I felt like I need to stop Boxy Charm for three months just to use up the products. I don't want to waste them. Um, I don't want to become a hoarder that had like so many makeup that I don't even use. So it's only help and I'm actually I'm a little bit happy I'm a little bit glad that I didn't get an October one because I don't really use this face mist and then one of the big product you got is the iconic face mist actually if you unsubscribe to BoxyCharm they're gonna send you a, a, an email saying oh this is what you're gonna get look what you have missed and I look at the products I was like well they don't do anything for me so I'm okay but yeah I got I already got so 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 many great products. So we're, today we're gonna use everything I got from BoxyCharm to create this look. And then you are about to see me without any makeup or skincare. My skin looks super dull. And today um, we started the video with a big sun, and then now it's just out. I apologize for the lighting. All right. So before I just go ramble and ramble and ramble, let's get started. Are you ready? Let's get started. Okay. This is my reflector board. I just put it right here to reflect some light. I feel so insecure about my bare skin because of my hyperpigmentation. So we're just gonna use our hair to block it. So um, this, the first item is the Peach and Lily. <clears throat> um, this is their glass. <clears throat> I'm so sorry guys, I am a teacher and I teach a lot recently and, and giving presentations and I kind of lost my voice But also people say that when I lost my voice, my voice sounds sexier compared to my everyday voice People say that everyday voice sounds like a kid In serum, it's supposed to be translucent and luminous with peach extract and peptide complex And this is the last bit of products that I have because I already used it up Okay, this is a clear serum product. It's really clear. It's really clear. So it's like this. And the actual serum is really, really watery. It's hydrating. Um, however, I don't think I will purchase it again because the product is actually not cheap if you purchase it by itself. And I don't think you get a lot of products in it. Um, I use um, this one for a month and then it's gone. And I don't think it does anything other than hydrating. Um, it's a hydrating serum, so I don't think it's worth the money. But it's definitely a great product. So if you really have budget, you can you can purchase. It's not a bad product. But I don't think it really does anything like really wow me. It doesn't really transform my skin. So I don't think I'll be purchasing again. But you can see, it's oh, so hydrating. Ooh. Yeah, so you can tell after you put the um, product, my skin is brightened a little bit because of the hydration. So a lot of times our skin looks dull just because it's dried out. Okay. Ooh. Okay, the sun is out! Yay! Okay, uh, okay so this is done. Um, the next product we have is ta -da, the Tidal Tidal Brightening Water Cream from Sunday Riley. Ta -da. This one is also very expensive. I cannot open this for some reason. It's super hard. Ah, 
super hard to open so this is the like a gel cream water cream type of a texture it's really good honestly <clears throat> It smells like cucumber, although um, <clears throat> when it comes to skincare products, I don't think fragrance is necessary. But if you're not allergic to fragrance, I don't think it's a, a absolutely bad thing. It really depends on each individual. If you are not allergic, it kind of makes your whole experience better. But if you are, or if you have open cuts um, on your skin, by open cuts, I mean when you pick your pimple. It's super hydrating. I absolutely love this product. Um, but am I gonna purchase on my own <clears throat> when during a Thanksgiving sale? <sighs> I don't think so because I feel like this one is really, really good. I definitely enjoy using it. It's really hydrating. But again, it doesn't really have any transforming effect. So it doesn't really <clears throat> make a huge difference other than hydrating my skin. Um, I think another drugstore, drugstore product, the Neutrogena Water Gel Cream, is going to do exactly the same. Another great thing about this product is after using this, um, your skin, it's easier for you to apply foundations. I think there's like silicone or something. It feels like really silicone-y. But do not freak out if it has silicone unless you are allergic. It does not clog pores according to the dermatologist. Okay, so here we go. We have a lot of hydrations on my skin right now. And see, like my skin was really dull uh, when I first started this video. But after I put some hydrating serum and water cream, it gets better. Okay, the next product before we apply foundation is the um, Glow Ahead Lumen face oil by Wonder Beauty this one well this one I don't think I will purchase it again just because okay so the the color of this product worries me uh, it's like super super pink with like luminous I, I don't know I I don't think products need to put like color dye just to make it look pretty like this is super unnecessary to have this pink vibe and it kind of scares me but the good thing is like initially i was like this is for sure gonna break me out because it's a fragrance it has a tie dye tie dye no it has a color dye but it actually did not and it's not super oily so i think um it's a good product definitely keeps locks in all of the hydration from your water cream and serum and i think it is a good product um, to put before you foundation just to um, lock in all of the hydration and also it creates a tackiness um, before you put any foundation it's not it's a face oil product but it's not super oily so if you don't really mind the color and the fragrance this is actually a good product this is the only face oil that I've used that's not super oily so if you don't mind about the fragrance and the, t the color get this one I do enjoy this product Pro skincare products does make a difference for the skin especially for a hydration effect if you feel like your skin looks dull before trying anything maybe try the hydrating products first and then <clears throat> to see if your skin can be saved by putting more hydration okay so the next one we're gonna do is a sunscreen and of course um, BoxyCharm didn't give me any sunscreen product which is kind of weird because everybody should be using sunscreen and I feel like sunscreen product is the most important step in my all skincare because without sunscreen you're re-dehydrating your skin and it's gonna cause skin cancer and also early aging so I'm be using the new um, sunscreen that I got from EPOS this is a repurchase I repurchased like 20 times already Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Okay, so this is the tinted sunscreen I got from Epeons. You can get it from Amazon, you can get it from their official website. I'll put the link down below. This is the best sunscreen ever. Like, this is um, physical sunscreen. It has titanium dioxide, 4.8%, and also has 9.3% of zinc oxide. Um, this one is... SPF 50 broad spectrum UVA UVB and it's water resistant um, so it is so 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 good and I think it's tainted sunscreen so um, you know like every time if you use a physical sunscreen it kind of leaves a white cast um, so that's why I always use a tinted sunscreen which el eliminate that 
problem. Um, also, another thing is like a lot of people love to use Drunk Elephant. It's so expensive and their tinted sunscreen is not even comparable to this one. So if you're looking for a tinted sunscreen, the physical sunscreen, by the way, physical sunscreen is indeed better than chemical sunscreen. Unless you're allergic to the ingredients. Some people are allergic to zinc or whatever. So this is what this product looks like. Some of the days I don't even put foundation. I just put the tainted sunscreen um, because it kind of color corrects my skin already. So I'm just gonna put sunscreen. I see a lot of um, makeup artists getting ready, but they always forget this step. Like unless it's at night. Like even if you're staying indoors or windows, you always need to put sunscreen because <clears throat> windows do not block UV lights. Okay. Okay. See, my skin color, my skin tone kind of get corrected just by using this sunscreen, right? And by the way, um, as you can tell, um, my acne kind of cleared up from a year ago. If you watch some of my video or get ready video from a year ago, I had so, so much acne. But this year, I had like one right here just because I ate unhealthy food recently. But I don't have acne anymore. I have some hyperpigmentations, but it's just from the past. So uh, if you want me to do a video dedicated to how I clear my acne, please comment down below because I'm thinking about doing it. Okay, so after the sunscreen, I'm just going to put on my foundation up. Oh, or here, back. Um, because foundation is so, so, so personal, I don't think it's a great idea for BoxyCharm to melt up foundations only to find that it's too dark, too cool, too warm. So I'm just going to use the Beauty Blender foundation for today. This is one of my favorite foundation and BoxyCharm in the past three months, BoxyCharm did send me a lot of um, makeup brushes. So I guess we can use one of the makeup brushes BoxyCharm sent me. Okay, I have a little bit mess right here. <laughs> so I'm so sorry. Okay. So I'll be using this makeup brush by Luxie. This is the foundation brush. I actually didn't like this foundation brush because I like the foundation brush from It Cosmetics, but it doesn't mean that this one won't work. It's just this type of brush is better for, I don't know what it's better for. It's just, I like to, I it's just, I like to dab my foundation instead of brush it in. You know what I mean? So this whole motion is actually really weird. I don't think this foundation brush actually works. Uh, this is definitely not a foundation brush I would purchase myself. Let's just change to a different brush. This is the Moda Studio. Maybe this one will work. The Moda Studio. Moda Studio. But this is, I think it's a face, face brush. I don't think it gave me a foundation brush from this one. Uh, but really, anything is better than the uh, Luxie foundation brush. I know some of my friends love this one, so it's not a bad product, I want to say. But mm, not for me. I don't, it's just personal preference, I think. So I'm not saying it's a bad, bad product, I'm just saying. I don't use application tool like that. I like to dab my foundation in. But this one by Molda Studio, the makeup brush set, um, is really good. I absolutely enjoy this one. But interestingly, like BoxyCharm actually sent me two brush sets within the past three months, which is really interesting because usually you don't need that many. Brush, brush sets, but I'm so glad that they sent me the Moda one because the Luxie one I did actually didn't like after I've been consistently using it. Okay, this one actually works. Yeah. Okay, foundation is on. Actually, it's on beautifully. I love this brush and of course I love this foundation. Okay, here we go. And then I just need some... Uh, what's that? Concealer. Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I'll just use it right here. 
to cover some hyperpigmentation. Yes. And then we're gonna use the same brush and we're just gonna dab it in. See, I like this type of like dabbing sensation when I apply foundation and concealer. So I want to make the product like dab into my skin instead of like, like brush it. Okay. Alright, concealer is in. Okay, so I felt like this video is going to be long because it took me a long time just for these very small steps. And then for the under eye concealer, I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. And this is the Natural Radiant Concealer. It is so good. Um, they have two types of concealer from Born This Way. Where's the other one? So one is the Multi Sculpting Concealer Super Coverage. This one is Super Coverage versus this one is Natural Radiance. The Natural Radiance is great for under eyes versus this one is great for covering, covering up your skin imperfection. 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 Okay, so we're gonna put the concealer under my eyes. Just a little bit. I don't need a lot. I slept good last night slept well last night. Okay, here we go. Yay, concealer is done. Okay, so now I'm gonna be doing my complexion first. Um, I really, really, really wanted to film this video because I'm gonna give this palette to my friend. I'm only using one color. Okay, where is that? All right, so we have this uh, makeup brush from Molda Studio. I also got it from one of my recent BoxyCharm. Actually, <clears throat> I got it from the Boxy Lux because um, when I spent, I think I spent an extra $20 for the Boxy Lark. Lux and actually got like way more products, so I think it's a really good deal. So I definitely recommend the Boxy Lux. So if you're wondering what is Boxy Lux it is, I do recommend. So I'm just gonna see how warm it is, and this is the coolest color that I it has in the palette. So definitely, I'll give it out. But this is a really good palette. The Everything is, the quality is so good. The formula is so good. The color is so, 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 so pretty. But I just felt like sometimes, you know, when you do not purchase the product itself, um, when you just get the product from this subscription box, you may not get the shade that's like perfect for you. But I think BoxyCharm um, overall did a really good job. So not complaining. Hmm. Color is really good. It's just this one shade is good. I wish I could just take out the shades and give out like I didn't even touch any of the other shades because it's just I know it will be too warm for me. Because see this palette, the shade I've been using is this one. This is one of the most cool tone color, but it's pretty warm on my skin. It's actually my face is darker than my neck because of the shade. But I think overall with BoxyCharm, it's really good if you have friends who also um, subscribe to BoxyCharm and if whatever you don't like or if she doesn't like, you can just switch um, switch up because <laughs> I think that's the way you do it <laughs> because definitely this palette, I won't make the full use out of it. Okay, so it's done! Okay, next we're gonna do my brows because a girl has to have brows. Actually, I, it didn't give me any brow products. We'll be using a brow product product that I have. Um, this is from... Where is this from? It's from Astu House. It's a Korean brand. You know, Asian. As an Asian, I love Asian beauty. I wish we have easier access to like Asian beauty products here. Um, without like paying super extra because a lot of things if you buy from Korea and Japan it will be super cheap like drugstore versus if you buy it here from eBay or Amazon because I don't know because of why like it just became super expensive unnecessarily expensive 
Okay, eyebrow done. Have you ever tried the Benefit Position brow pencil, something like that? This one, so much cheaper and so much better. But I still love the Benefit Position brow product. I love that one. I love Benefit brow product. But I also like the Asian one, not because of the formula, but because of the color shade. This one is super good for Asian brows because I kind of have like brown hair, but it's not super brown. So every time I purchase products from American brand, it's either too dark or too warm. But this one is super good. Okay, so brow product is on. We got two makeup palettes from BoxyCharm in the past um, three months. I love both eyeshadow palette. This is the um, uh, from this is the palette from Butter London, and this is the product from Violet Vaz. And I think both of them are super pretty, super 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 pretty. I also got some single shades. Um, this is a metallic, super metallic pink. And my friend Debbie, who's super good to me, also gave me other single shades because, uh, like, she said, "Oh, I'm not gonna be using it. Maybe you should enjoy it better." <sighs> I love her. So, but today we're gonna get ready using this. Look how pretty it is. Like, this is like a hidden gem in Sephora. I didn't even know they have this brand until they sent me this. So. I'll be using this um, sh makeup brush from Moda Studio, from BoxyCharm of course. And why is this so dark? It's like darker than yesterday. Like I've actually filmed a video yesterday at like 4.30 and it's actually like brighter than now. I think it's really gonna bring. I am so sorry for the... <sighs> okay, so first we're gonna use the color cream. Right here on the top of my eyes, right here. And then we'll be using the color sand as a base color. Well, I feel like uh, I used the wrong shade. Because I was like freaking out about this sunlight situation. And then I accidentally used the wrong shade on the other eye. But I think. We're just gonna go there then. This violet boss is so good. Okay. And then we're gonna use the terracotta. It's the orangey shade. And of course, it's because I accidentally used it on the other eye. Because I was gonna go with like a dusty rose type of vibe. Not happening. I messed it up. Okay, but it's okay. It's happening. The color is so, 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 so pigmented, which makes it possible to do everything. Okay, and then we're gonna use the color cream. And you can just, just go blend it. So good. Okay, and then we're gonna use the color pink. Hey, we're going for Dusty Rose White. I could do better next time, I guess. Okay, I need a makeup brush. Okay, we'll be using this Luxie makeup brush, but I really don't like it. We're gonna try to blend, blend, blend. Well, seriously, like if the lighting is better. Okay, so now it looks normal. Okay. I apologize for the lighting. The lighting makes it super weird, but that's okay. We are going to use the highlight color in this Tarte palette. And we are going to highlight right here. Okay, so we have an eyeliner product from Pink and Henry. This is a brown color. It's actually pretty good, but it's not. It's not one of the products that's like waterproof though. But I just love the applicator. It's so precise. Maybe it's black. Oh, it's black. Why is the packaging brown? 
when the actual product is black. It just doesn't make any sense. Okay, so eyeliner is up. Okay, so now let's do the lips. Um, I actually have a really good product I got from BoxyCharm. This is the Steve Lauren. Steve um, Lauren is so good. I would repurchase it. It is so, 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 so good. The color is so good and it matches a lot of different um, uh, lip products too. Okay, so I have lined my lips, makes my lips a little bit more full. Okay, so next we are going to use the lip product I got from... Okay, so I got two lip products from BoxyCharm in total. One is from Stila, the other is from Ofra. The Ofra one though is metallic pink. The Stila one is the famous patina shimmer color. It is actually really pretty. I'm not going to be using this one because I'm going to give it to my friend. So, but I actually own this product. Here we go. Here we go. This is Patina. Um, I actually own this product. I have a smaller version because I got like a, a, a set product from Stila when they were on sale. So I'm going to be using this one. It's the same color. It's this one, Patina. It's really pretty. That's why I needed like a pinky eye look just because I need to match a pinky lipstick. Alright, so for the lashes, we're gonna be using the lashes I got from my BoxyCharm. I think it's like one of my first boxes I got from BoxyCharm. This is from Lashaholic. Um, we'll be putting this on camera. And how do I put it on? I need a mirror. Okay, it's on. Next one. Okay, looks good. Officially on this lashes. These lashes are super dramatic. <laughs> I usually like don't buy lashes that are, that are this dramatic, but it actually looks pretty good, right? Oh, you know what we miss? We do not have blushes. That's why it looks a little bit weird because I do not have any blush product from Boxy Charm products. So I'm just gonna use some sort of blush from outer palette I got it right here so I'm just gonna use some blushes yeah I hate false lashes I know I love the look but I don't like how they feel feel okay here we go alrighty I felt like this video was super super long but we've been together through thick and thin which is good sunshine and overcast cloudy. We are going to play here, but that's okay. So yeah, so I got ready to create this look using all of the items I got from BoxyCharm 1, BoxyCharm 2, and BoxyCharm 3. So all of the products except for foundation and concealer are from BoxyCharm and also blush. I didn't get blush. Yeah. Um, so, and also I think I didn't get a mascara, but my friend gave me a mascara, but I felt like if I use it, it's like a cheating. I didn't get it and I got it from my friend. So yeah, I think overall the products um, BoxyCharm sent me are really, really good. I absolutely enjoyed the majority of them. Um, I think there are also products that did not fit me, because, not because they're bad products, just because the color may be too warm or too many selections and I already have other bronzers. So I think a really good way to make the best use of BoxyCharm is to have some friends. Um, when you all subscribe to BoxyCharm itself and there, if there are things that you do not feel like they fit you yourself you can just give it to someone else and then when they feel like something that you may like you can just exchange the products in the box so I think it's like the best way to get the best value from BoxyCharm alright I think I finally got a good lighting um, setting after like I felt like where I sit with the, the color with the lights and everything looks good right now and then we're about to end this video Alright, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so that you don't miss out any future content. And also, if you subscribe to BoxyCharm, make sure you comment what did you get from BoxyCharm, what worked and what did not work for me. Do you recommend it? I'm gonna resubscribe again after three months after Christmas. And yeah, alright, 
that's it for today. Thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video.